Good evening and welcome to the live webinar this evening. Uh, Top Platform Hacks for MT4. It's hosted by myself, Michael Baker. Um, before we do start, if you can just let me know you can hear me, uh, that everything's okay with the sound. It's all coming through nice and clearly through your speakers or your headphones. And you can also see my screen as well. So you should see a nice splash screen on the uh, uh, top platform hacks for MG4, yeah. Um, good stuff. Uh, Johan, yes, can hear Adele, can hear Pranetta, hello, Shuha, Robert, Kenneth, Lisa, Abdullah, Mohammed, Cordelia, Robert, Nicholas, Thomas. We are good. I think we've got a, 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 a solid connection here, so we can uh, begin with us with the, uh, the show. So yeah, this evening I'm just going to go through the MT4 platform. It's uh, it's got a lot of bells and whistles attached to the platform, so it could be it, it will be a, a slightly more detailed uh, look at the platform. Feel free at any time to jump in with any questions, and if you feel you may ask, and uh, you know I'll try and answer them. And at the end we can have some more questions. If I don't get around to answering them, at least I've got your question, I've got your email address. I can always get back to you as well. Um, yes, it's it's going to be fairly detailed, and I will be sort of going through um, going through sort of uh, complex features of the platform at pace. But don't worry if you get a little bit lost, because you you will get a recording of the session as well. But it's good to watch it live because you know you may get a uh, you know a question asked or something that you need to to to, to, to get over to myself. So um, you know don't worry if you get a bit lost because you know you'll be able to get a chance to take a look at things again. Uh, before we do begin, uh, there's just a few uh, a disclaimer for yourself to read through, uh, and then I'll, I'll load up the platform and we'll get through, get through everything, get everything done. Good stuff. Um, okay, so what we got up there with the MT4 platform, I'm logged into my demo account here. Um, so we will go through some sort of live trades and things like that. A lot of stuff uh, you're, you're going to be familiar with, but um, like any, like learning anything new, it's you know it's always good to be reminded of the basics, or there might be some basics that you've not picked up on yet. Uh, and um, you know you may you know you, you certainly could learn something new here. Uh, this evening. So what I'm just going to just start going through sort of the main sort of features of the platform. And then get into more of the uh, advanced stuff once I explain the, uh, um, the, the, the the sort of core components um, of what you see on the screen. First of all, really, when it comes to MT4, it can, um, in terms of connections, it, it it can be a little bit difficult sometimes to tell if you are connected or if you are having connection issues at all. If you always just refer to the bottom right hand corner. Um, bottom right hand corner of the, uh, the platform you'll see the connection status okay and you should always see it ticking up uh, and, that, and you can see the the green and red um, colored uh, bars now that, that that signifies there is a connection and you are connected to our server okay if it says no connection there or invalid account then you can that you can sell that there is a um, there is a bit of a, a problem with connecting to our servers. One thing we always do when I do, if I do see a bit of a problem, I go up to file, I click on open an account, and then you'll get the trading servers of, of the the, uh, uh, um, the trading servers that um, that you are connecting to. And if you do click a quick scan, and just make sure you do have the live or the demo or the live to uh, servers there, and it'll give you a, a a sort of a slow rundown there of of the um, of the of the uh, of the platforms, okay. So that's one thing I always do. Just click uh, to click scan, and you'll be able to see um, uh, connections to each uh, sort of servers and what kind of uh, what kind of speed that you get there. Um, so just moving there. So if you are uh, wanting to log into the trade account, or you find yourself logged out. Just quickly uh, click on the bottom right there, and then you'll get the uh, the login. 
Um, you can also just do that from the top left there. Just go file, log into trade account, um, and then you'll you'll get the uh, you'll get the, the box up here, and you can put the login, the password, uh, and the server. Just make sure you click save account info as well, uh, and that will save it to uh, the navigator screen on the, on the left. Uh, and you'll you'll be able to have quick sort of uh, um, quick sort of logins and logouts, uh, log quick quick sort of um, access to all the different accounts, and you can have sort of your live. Uh, your demos, uh, things like that. You can just quickly uh, move, move between the two, uh, move, move between your different accounts. Um, in terms of sort of what or what makes up the actual main screens of, of MT4, uh, it's the same as most sort of uh, trading platforms. You uh, you'll have your uh, sort of your, your your market watch sort of area where you'll you'll, you'll see all your all the different markets that we offer. You'll have your um, your charting sort of space as well. This is where you know you do all your charting, and then you have the bottom where it will show your trade as sort of a an all-in-one uh, trading package, as you, you, you probably see with with most trading or trading uh, software. So the they they there's what makes up the uh, the main sort of screen. The um, starting from the left, which is the uh, the, the screen that's used to uh, access all the different charts or all the different markets. This is your market your market watch. Um, here we'll uh, based on uh, what, what what you can access and what markets you can access, you can um, see all the markets all sort of stacked on top of each other, along with the uh, the bid, ask, and the spread here. This is what this uh, one on the far right here. Um, it's good to see it with in terms of how the market's trading moment there are two prices i mean that's the the basis when you have the, the bid and the ask when you are sort of going long you are going long at the uh, the ask price and when you're going short you're going to the bid price so you can see the two different prices trading and the spread's just the difference between um between the two okay so there are always two different prices um trading on uh on, on each market uh and depending on whether you're what your order's set to or what you're buying or what you're selling then you know that's what one, one that's what a uh, price will uh, uh, correspond to, to your particular trade. Now to get the most from the market watch is just right clicking in there. Okay, when you right click in there, you'll get all the the market watch um, features or menus that you can uh, you can click through. If we just go through sort of each one, um, really. I mean. One of my, one of MT4's uh, maybe not its strongest point is its um, sort of watch lists and things like that it can be quite a bit um, uh, it can be quite a bit fiddly to to set up a watch list um, compared to most other other sort of trading programs. But if you go down to if you right click and go to symbols, you'll get presented with this screen here. Yeah. It would actually look a bit more like this, and it's actually put everything into a little bit more um, groups for you. Uh, and if you open or expand them, these are all the markers that you can see here. You can actually select through them and hide them a lot easier than uh, just removing them from there. So you can actually go through there, hide it, go through there, actually hide them all, go on there, hide them like that, and you'll actually start you start sort of hiding off some of the uh, that were most of the uh, um, most of the markets. Um, because what I mean by that is that that's just one main market of all the markets. You may want to um, sort of add or remove markets to to make it easier for you to 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 to, to build a build a watch list. Uh, one thing you can do actually is just right click and then click uh, hide all, and all it will do it will close it will close or it will it will hide all the markets apart from the one that you put one the one market that you've got active in the moment. And from there you can start going to sort of um add other markets there so we can go sort of uh let's have a look it's not that we go to index uh and maybe you want to have sort of the major <clears throat> the major major index markets um so let's have some we put the dax in there double clicking it that will show up let's put the uh sp 500 wall street um and we'll have yeah, we'll just stick with those those four in a moment. If I close there, you know, I can just have the four markets up there rather than having you know tons of different markets and making it itself a bit more difficult for me to um, for me to 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 scroll to scroll to scroll all the way through. 
um, what you can actually do there is is save that then we can save as that'll save a set here well when you are saving um, it will get you'll get a screen to save the screen and you can just save it and it says it as a set file which is an MQL uh, for an MT4 pro um, file that used to to save save the sets, um, we can call it sort of indices, like so, and just save, and that will save as a, as a separate little file in the in your um, if you actually go to file uh, open data folder, it'll actually be saved in there as like a a, a dot set file. Now that dot set file is just is just a notepad file really. Um, if you open that note, notepad file, you'll you'll just see UK 100 comma space um, new line Germany 30 space SB 500 space W all WS 30 space. It's just four four um, four lines of the name of the uh, uh, the name of the um, the market. Now you can actually uh, open that up in Notepad, or you can open it up in Excel, and you can use it as another way to sort of arrange your uh, um, range of markets or a range of files. So you know it's a lot easier to sort of open. So now we've got um, uh, that set there as a um, indices. We go back to all. We can we can sort of create another one now. Sort of so we click high, uh, idle. We can click one. Um, go to symbols. We do one sort of sort of major FX as well. Yeah. So we've got major FX, we can do uh, cable, uh, Euro USD, uh, Euro GBP, dollar CAD, dollar yen. Um, yeah, I'll press there, close as well. Because it's got UK, you always have the one, have the one open. So because it's always shown that we can actually click that and we can actually click uh, hide there. Oh, we always have the one open, don't we? Uh, chart window. Yeah, uh, we can hide that now. So, and then we can sort of set, set, save as. Uh, you'll get the feature to save it. Um, and we just put sort of call that FX majors. Save. And now we've got we've got sets all set up. Now we've got indices. We have got. Don't forget, it always it'll always show the one that's the, the, the most your active chart. Okay, so always remember that as when you are changing these sets here, because you always have to have at least one active chart. Uh, click 4x and then we can source click between the two or we can just right click and show all and that will just bring them all back for you okay so that's in the quite a straightforward way to um, uh, to edit your watch list or have different one rather than having this you know all the way we have to, to scroll away to through a few you can just spend a bit of time um, just editing about easiest way like I said is it's probably actually just to uh, go to do a save as all. Make sure you've got a, a, a set save as all with that set file. Open it up in Notepad or open it up in Excel and you'll have all them all very neatly done in columns and you can sort of edit them that way. You can even sort of make them in alphabetical order in Excel uh, and then save the uh, file. Save the, the, the file and then you can just open up again in uh, MT4 and that'll be all done in alphabetical order for you. So that's an, an, a, another, way of, um, another way of doing that. Um, let's just go through sort of the uh, the different other features you can get when on the right click here and uh, one of the other one is actually pop up prices now if you do pop up prices as it is there what it does it'll do a pop up price of all all the different um, all the different markets in that market watch you actually can't really see that at all it's very untidy but if you had a small sort of set here there so we've actually went to sort of forex there yeah, and we've done pop-up prices there. You can have another screen just like this, and you can easily move that around. Um, you know, you can change the uh, the properties of that background. You know, it's white or or none or uh, properties. We know sort of uh, background. We can have it as yeah, something like that. Whatever, however smart tie you want. That basically shows what you're seeing on on there. You've got the the bid, the ask, the high, the low, and the last quote from the broker as well. And that and that will actually pop off your screen. You can have that anywhere, and you can actually keep an eye on prices. Um, you know, just it's another way of making you aware of what's actually going on in the screen. These sort of columns here do represent what we're seeing uh, on here. Um, these sort of columns here. So let's uh, go back to show all. Um, you can actually edit these columns up here by right-clicking it and just selecting 
um, them down here. So when you right click, you see spread, high, low, time, auto arrange and grid. Auto arrange basically is um, if I turn it off, it won't auto. It won't auto sort of bring itself back into line. But if I right click here and auto arrange here. Whereas whatever size I make my market watch, it will just automatically, um, we can just automatically, um, it will just automatically resize itself to, uh, to how, however you scrolled it. Um, so yeah, so there you'd have the bid, ask, you can have the spread, you can have the higher the day, the lower the day, and this the the time here. This is the last quote that we you've received. All right. Do notice again, you got the you got the broker time up here. This is uh, 2118. It's actually two hours ahead. It's uh, basically server time. It, what that does is actually bring the Sunday night trading into uh, a whole bar for the Monday. Uh, and then you can see just with each one when the what time the last price update, lot time last time there was actually a quote that where, that went through. Okay, so it was always quite handy to see. You know, if you are looking at markets and you are trading markets that you know showing quotes that from a while ago, it could be that it's just very quiet. It generally tends to happen not so during the um, the late hours where it's not too busy you know the quotes aren't just as quick as when they are just doing sort of the main market hours it's um you know they will sort of slow down a bit towards the, these sort of times that we get into you know the fx close and you know your midnight and that sort of time so that sort of things they they will will close down um right clicking again back i still want to get right click your other sort of things you can do is the uh, new order uh right click that bring up a ticket yep uh, there's many ways you'll probably see a lot of things repeated in this webinar as, as it, you know as, as there is a way of uh, of um, there's many ways of get doing sort of the same feature from the different parts of the program uh, someone just asked is there a way of adjusting chart time with my local time please no it's mt4 is always set to uh, broker time okay so all the broker times matches up where, wherever you are and, and you're using this um, Nicholas asked can we transfer um, these sets to the mobile app. I'm not familiar, Nicholas. I will find out, see if that is the case. Uh, Lisa, this is the this is covering just the desktop app today. We do have one coming for for the mobile app, so do stay tuned for that. Um, just finishing more right click, more on the on the right click is adding chart windows. Yeah, anywhere on if you right click on a a particular market there, right click that will add a chart chart window over. Um, You've got this tick chart down there, which is also the same up here as well. If we click tick chart, it will bring you the tick chart of um, of that particular market. Now the tick chart is basically it will just change every time there's a new quote going. And it's not time related. It's it's just based on the tick. And it's just showing you just where the bid is uh, and where it's been. As we can see on here, it's not you know it's not terribly busy at the moment. You know. Um, it's just moving sort of quite slowly as, as it's quite uh you know it's got, got a little bit quiet out of a um out of, it's got you know a little bit quiet out but that would just follow every time there's an update a price update that will uh that will that will follow um just a few more questions coming in uh just one if you're going to cover indicators yeah we'll, get, we'll look at indicators that you can put on where you can find them and where how you put on the platform yeah that's there, there's a very small sort of brief um cover that as we go through the charts um Hamid, sorry i missed at the beginning is ask price buy or sell so the ask price is where you buy so you buy the ask and you sell the bid yeah that's the buy price so if i was going to go in now gpp you said we're buying at this ask price here if i'm saying you can see the difference too so if i'm buying like that that's going to be my exit price and that's why you get the small discrepancy in your trade when when you are when you do open up a live trade because it's you know you're moving from one price straight to the other and there's always going to be a, a, a difference between the two um so we've got the tick chart there. Depth of market is probably something that a lot of people don't tend to use, uh, but it's quite a, a handy little tool if you if you've got multiple screens as well uh, and you want to sort of ladder trade. So there's this option really to. It's quite similar to um, people. I don't know if anyone uh, would have done ladder. Oh, um, would have done la uh, ladder trading here, but. It does snap about a bit. Um, this is oh, it's kind of affects you, your ladder trade. What this does show is these are the best. This is the the bit. The, the first two prices is your uh, 
as your bid and as you, uh, your offer, and then your prices up here and what 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 will next pro, the next available pro, trades for you to sort of trade at. So I'm on a demo here as well, so you can actually quite quickly put sort of orders in, yeah, uh, quite quickly to sell. These are like sell limits and buy limits, quite easy. You can set set the volume down there, and then like if you, as long as you've got one click trading needs to be enabled. So if you've not if you've not done one click trading before, it may give you a um. Well, it will give you sort of a terms and conditions for you to to accept uh, before you can actually and they can actually put sort of sell limits in um well you know around the market but it's um it's not terribly customizable you know it does help if, if you've got your screen sort of uh lengthways but it's just good if you're sort of trading a lot a lot quite a lot around the uh uh, where, where the bid and the ask is actually trading you can sort of put, put orders in and uh, you can actually right click and do sell stops um as well so right click up here sell stops uh buy a stop up there so you got your buy a stop sell stops it's all down to you know you know you are you uh where, where the bid and ask is and where you do your, your limits and your sell stops that's a quite handy sort of tool you can have a sort of few of those open you know uh, and you can actually just drag them off the screen as well and you've got multi-screen sort of setup you can uh sort of them next game and they're quite very quite similar to 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 ladder trading um easy to sort of right click and uh delete your orders as well yeah right click delete delete yeah so this is quite another one you can just change the volume down there and also you can set your trades as well you can set your stop loss and your take path, plot, plot, uh, profit on there as well um so whenever you put that in they'll automatically uh, attach those orders um if you're if you've not had if you've sort of if you've had the option to accept one one click trading on the mt4 platform and you've did decline it you, every time you do that you'll you'll get a ticket up for you to confirm the order before it's automatically sub um automatically um placed into the market for you you can go to options and go to trade and uh, click one click trading okay and that will give uh, that will allow you to have orders go straight through into the market um and that's the that's the uh, oh, that's the depth of market fe uh, feature and uh, you just press x there to close them off a few orders still left in there we can just close those off like that um a few last things on the uh with the market watch is if you want to know the specification of the market basically just what its minimum volume is um what what the um uh what the sort of the margin is um uh what what are, what the uh you know what, all the, what's the open time things like that what the sort of long swap three day swap is you know that's all going to be on there what the volume step so right click specification that will take you all down there and all the uh, all the information that you need to know um just quick few last bits on on this market watch just to quickly if you want to open up a ticket on a particular market you can just double click on it yeah that will just open up a ticket uh if you just want quickly want to get a, a uh, uh the the chart up you can actually just drag charts over as well yeah and they will, will come over like so you know, if you um you know, if you want, we've got a a particular set we were looking at like that we can just drag drag this over yeah now they're going to open up the uh markets that you don't forget in, in your when you are doing your sets and stuff and you've got markets active it will keep those market uh, markets open all right so do 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 be wary of that go back to show all there you go let's get back to one two one so that's all the uh the market watch there they're what you really um when all the yeah uh, all the that's your market watch there that's all um you know lots of stuff that's connected to the market what you need to know um not too much more on there that's that you would need to 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 know i've got quite a few questions coming through so we'll get the we'll get we'll get the um we'll get around to to sort of asking them ask uh, answering those for you uh let's move on now let's take a look at charts uh this is probably you know one of the biggest um parts of mt4 it is very powerful it's charting uh compared to most sort of uh trading software so uh you can do uh, get a lot of technical uh, analysis done uh with this chart and it's got a lot of stuff built built in but also what's good about it 
is it's it's how customizable how customizable it is um let's take a look at minimize and max quite a simple, simple minimize and this is just for one chart here you know it's got the power to open up multiple charts but if you are minimizing maximizing it's quite easy it's that top one there that'll just make it bigger smaller you can start adding a few more charts now um ch 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 chart window there yep this will start adding, adding more charts wall street let's have a chart window for that let's do four it's dollar dollar cad as well chart window of that you can see down this bottom here these tabs they start to build up so that gives you a sort of a, a quick sort of go between them all or if you do minimize them all you just, just start moving about like that what's easy is if you just cascade them just the four up there yeah that give you the um that give you a cascade and always easily sort of um and easily just arrange them all and if you have sort of more than you can have you can have a ton of ton of charts a lot of people have a lot of charts on there so it can become a bit messy there but um you can sort of uh, uh just easily um easily sort of edit it and very quickly by just pressing the uh, the cascade button um the main sort of when it comes to techno technical analysis is the uh is the objects and indicators yeah uh you get them from up here so it's insert or right click you can uh, uh you can do so you can get to to insert um ob indicators and on, on on objects uh also you've got these these sort of small sort of uh menu buttons up here which allow you to do a lot of the objects um if we have a look at i think in the uh dax in the moment there's a on the four hour i believe should be a uh, on the four hour we've got like a, a bit of a head and a uh bit of a uh a trend channel right seems that we've had a bit of a breakout today right yeah it looks like we've just broken out that trend channel there but there you sort of um there your tools for drawing your uh, trend um your lines and stuff uh, a lot of trend channels you, you know it's a lot there's a lot of trend channels at the moment if you want to do sort of um want to mirror that that line like that make sure it's selected and hold down your control button uh, and then you can actually move and make a, a nice little trend line a trend channel uh but it's interesting now that we've actually had a bit of a breakout of that uh, trend channel there is this a gonna be a maybe a start a bit of a turnaround in in the dax here um it seems to be a, a little bit heavy heavy based on those uh that bar there um but yeah from here you can actually add, add a ton of stuff um you know horizontal lines um yeah we've done a um a trend line there if you want it to sort of extend uh right click trend line properties click the ray and then you'll have a an extended line on that okay rather than just your your sort of point to point it give you a uh um it um it give you that sort of extended feature on 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 the uh, on the line rather than just having a, a, the point to point. But a lot of people don't actually like the the ray, so it's up to you there how you want to uh, uh, apply that. Uh, popular tools such as the Fibonacci. Um, skip rid of that there. Uh, well, I should, popular tools such as like the Fibonacci's. They're all in there as well. Give you the option there to to put your fib on there. Uh, and give you all the uh, all the major retracement levels. Um, when you are dealing with objects and indicators, especially well, especially with the objects, actually, is when you want to remove them. You know, you've got to make sure they're selected first. Okay, so double, you've got to be clicking on the actual one. When you're clicking, you'll always see sort of the squares on either side. That gives you the option to press delete on the keyboard or right click uh, and delete. So we have like the uh, we've got the line up there now, and if I double click on it. You'll see this it's square. It's now active. I can uh, I can delete it. Uh, sometimes when it gets a little bit messy, we've got some vertical lines there. Um, you know, we, we're uh, got Fibonacci's on. We've got um, you know, I mean, it starts to get a little bit built up. So if you go right, right click, you can actually get an object object list up. Yeah, and if you are, uh, you know, you can actually 
go through the button, it'll actually select um it'll actually select one if you uh if you uh, if you when you double click it actually it'll be it'll be active so you can delete it or edit or if, if it's you know sometimes you when you've put these these um lines on and and you leave them on and training's moved um training's moved away from them you know they still stay on the screen you just click the show it will actually go through to it and you just you can actually delete them from here as well like so um but in terms of sort of changing colors and things like that just make sure it's active always just try and make sure you, it will show the squares at the end that's the same for all the tools here even you like everything there just make sure you that and you'll see the square that means it's, it's active you can't have two active at the same time it's so either that one's active or that one's so you can so you can do multiple activities and when it comes to the, the lines and if you if you keep clicking on loads of them and also get a new press delete then they'll take them all off uh, sort of changing colors just make sure you're active right click uh, you get the horizontal line properties um, from here you can, you can change what was the style the color <clears throat> you know is it going to be an intermittent line like so you know there's just so much stuff you can uh, um, you can do um, terms of uh, someone just asked, can you view different timers on the same chart and different windows side by side? No, you can't, but you know, you can have, you know, if you wanted to do that, you would probably have, say, if we wanted to do two Germany 30s, do uh, chart windows, then you've got two, cascade them, you know, then you can have an hourly four and a daily, yeah? Easy change charts, you just, whatever one's active, you can do it from here, yeah, or whatever one's active. Yeah, and it will tell you what it is daily, hourly, which one there. Um, and you can have them all sort of side by side there as well. You see this right here, this, this shifts to, this always shifts to the most recent bars. You can actually press home or end as well on your keyboard. If I press home, it takes me to the most original bit of data. Uh, if I press end, it'll take me to the most the most recent, but that's a, that's a way to having sort of next next them uh, together. Um, if I was to do, if I want to see multiple time frames, uh, and you can have sort of four as well. So if you do the more of a, uh, um, uh, let's have a chart window here. So we've got four here, chart window, press the cascade. You can start having sort of from your, your hours, you can have your 30 minutes, your hourly, then your daily, your weekly. You can even just sort of change the, the type of bar, you know, the bar, you can just have a line here, you know, whatever. You can even have sort of, you know, start having indicators on them as well. So, you know, if we start looking at, um, you know, maybe volumes, put some volumes on there, uh, oh, insert, indicators, uh, volumes, volumes down there. There's actually another one for me, where is it? Uh, volumes down there give you sort of a tick volume on, on on the charts every time every time there's a price movement here okay every time there's a price we see the price movement it will, it will start to tick up so you give you sort of the tick volumes down there and that's per per a bar you could also have um other stuff down there what we want we can have the uh um there's just, there's there's so many indicators available on on the uh, on the MT4 platform Most popular one there, probably what Reddit indicators, oscillators, relative strength index, stuff like that. You know, and you can just get them on start inserting them on indicators, trend, uh, moving averages, um, things like that. And that'll all just, that'll all be added onto the platform there, and you can you see them all at the bottom, all going through. They're quite easy. Just right click there. If you want to start moving them off, just go right click there, indicator list. That bring up an indicator list, and you can actually just delete them. That'll take them off. If you want to move that volume down there, charts volumes there. Yeah. Um, these, you know, you can have so many indicators on there, and the, the good thing about um mc4 is this these are just your standard ones if you ever go to sort of the mql5 uh community um if you ever do the uh, mql5 there's just tons of sort of custom 
um, custom indicators. Absolutely. The, I mean, at, at the end of the show, I'm going to do a brief sort of show you the uh, the editor environment, which is, you know, very is, is if you need to complex this stuff, um, it will. You know, it will. You know, what's what's possible there when it comes to coding and things like that is the as limited as possible. Um, yeah, someone just asked me, can you uh, if you can you if you if can you undo delete? So yeah, if you put a uh, if I press Control Z, that bring back back up. Yeah, um, and maybe if yeah, so if I put two there. Um, you know, you can delete there, oh. uh, undo delete is control Z. Yeah, you can just go, just complete. If you just keep pressing on control Z, it'll just, I mean, it's saved all, you know, what, 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 what the sort of the last sort of things you've done on there. So you will get a, uh, get the option to put those back, those, those back up. Um, let's sort of have a look now at um, what, what what you can do in terms of the right clicking uh, and what kind of menu that brings up when it when when you're on the chart. One thing is that when someone asks me about just adjusting, yeah, you can easily adjust the axes here. Um, MT4 doesn't really have the option for you to move sort of up and down or on the uh, on the chart. Okay, it always wants to keep the chart and view for you, so you know. Dragging that mouse from left to right is fine, up and down it's not using the price, um, the price actually. And if you just left click and hold that, uh, you'd be able to move that up and down, make that bigger, and even just scrolling, just using these scrolling and button to the top, that'll get you into there. All right. Um, yeah, so I was talking about a auto, an auto, which is this button here, the scroll. Every time there's a tick, it will scroll, it will scroll to front. You can turn it off and on by just clicking this here. Um, yeah, that green one there. If yes, that's off. So if it's on, every time it's a tick, it's going to auto jump you to the start of the chart. So just make sure that's uh, that's switched off because it can get a little bit annoying if it keeps jumping to and from. Um, right, let's have a look at sort of the right click trading on or right click menu on the chart. From here, you're going to get a lot of options here. Um, what good thing about it is, well, look, this this sell limit up here. If you if, if I'm above the trading price here, I'll get the sell limit. But if I'm below, I'll get a buy limit. So I can easily sort of click on here. I can actually get this a bit more as well. So click up here, get the uh, crosshair, or just press Control F, um, and then you get the you'll you'll have a crosshair here. And then if you see on the right there, you can actually just right click there, and then you'll be able to get a sell limit there, and that actually put a sell limit in for you. One click trading, yeah. Uh, if I'm below down here as well, I could do buy limit up there as well. Double click here, you can actually move it up and down. Move your, move your order, get a nice little sound in your ear. Double click it, will bring up the ticket. An easy way to get sort of all orders in um, once you're in the uh, in the market as well. And actually on the actual ticket now, you'll be able to get a, a sort of PNL, an updated PNL, um, yeah, things like that. All right. Uh, delete that, get that out, uh, get that out. Um, with trading below is another one as well, gives you the option to sell it, but this also gives you the option for a buy stop as well, because don't forget we're above it, we can still buy the market on a stop. So if my position was to trade up, I could actually buy it. So hopefully it will continue to move north, or I can put a sell limit where, you know, I'm going to try and catch the high here, you know, and that's vice versa for the bottom as well below. The trading price if it starts to fall away i want it to, and i want it to get cheap before i you know buy it i could put a sort of a buy a buy limit into the market and hopefully we'll trade down fill my order yeah and then continue move up or you can um let's get rid of that uh we can do a uh trade in we can do a sell stop here which is there so basically i want that to come in fill me and continue to move on i wanted to sell it and for it to continue to move uh, south. So these orders sit in the market, so I don't have to sit there all day and do sort of a, an inc instant execution, as they call it, a market order uh, and, and get filled. Also from the trading tab, you uh, you can do alerts uh, as well as new orders as well that bring up the ticket. All right, we'll go through the ticket in in, in, in a little while. But uh, yeah, alerts is a, you know another great part of the trading where it gives you the uh, option to sort of alert yourself if a certain price is traded 
uh, play certain sounds, send you a message, send you an email, send you a you know, notification to your MT4 app. Um, you know, that's 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 all of that's all ready through the through the desktop version. Uh, depth market again is you know, what we explained earlier. Is is the ladder? Um, uh, if you're just sort of trading around the trading price, and that's you know a good thing to do. But like I said, it's kind of limited to what you can see. It, it doesn't give you the option really to uh, to show a lot more than what it does. Um, objects list. Yeah, we're feeling that. We can just uh, click that, show, and it'll take us to it. Then we just we'll delete it, things like that. That's all on there. Um, right click time frames. You can just right click ch change the time frames from uh, uh, ch change the time frames. Look at a bit. Troubles you go to is you go to the smaller ones and then it, yeah, it goes to a little bit haywire there. Uh, so you can easily just change all the time frames there, nice and easy there. Uh, through the right click um, time flames uh, templates now this is a, a, a cool little tool if you want to have a, a default template maybe um, you know these we want a sort of a more easier view on the eye we can go right click properties and we can change the uh, we change everything there you've got everything to change any part of that chart wherever that be the background the foreground, the grid color, you have a bar up color, bar down color. I've got, as you can see from my chart at the moment, I've actually got a bar up color of, of, of green and a bar down color of red. Uh, your line graph, your volumes, your ask line, your stop levels, all of that can be changed. Or you can use their default schemes. So we can have sort of black, um, yellow and black. Yeah, like so. Uh, you know, a little bit tough on the, uh, um, a little bit tough on the eyes there, but you know, maybe you want to save that as our, our default, so or whatever we want to save. We can actually go save, we can save the save template. You get the option to 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 save it. We type in capital D default, press save. Yeah, that could be our default um chart now. So anytime we open up a new chart, yeah, that's our default. Yeah, uh, and then we can sort of change it back to uh to other ones. Um, things like that I can actually I've got there um, you know whatever you want to do you can have tons of different defaults but if you just name name label as default well uh, we can change it back if we just change this back now to oh, say template we'll save that as uh, the default now like so it won't change but when we open up another one here chart window yep there you go that be default. And that includes sort of indicators as well. So if you were to uh, to add indicators on there, um, such as all your moving averages, um, you know things like that, um, and then you can actually save that. And then when you open up, uh, you know these thing, it'll have all your moving averages on there as well. So that's what's good about the, uh, the default option as well. It will, uh, um, you know, it just yeah, save your template. Um, the actual template saves is actually a file. It's it's in the uh, MT4 folder. Um, so if you want to transfer between, you can actually go to the data folder, open up the templates uh, folder, and you uh, you know you can then, then transfer these between the uh, different computers. Um, auto arrange here, yeah, that's to do with uh, when you got when you got indicator windows. Uh, if you've got sort of, it would auto arrange the size of it so they are um, you know they are sort of the same sizes yeah um, you probably won't use that much uh, grid yeah adds a grid onto the chart so it's easier to sort of use the the crosshair or easy to you know follow without the crosshair yeah so that's uh, that will just give you a little gray little grid there you can actually sort of change the grid color there as well if you want back up here you can just put black things like that you know Whatever you want to do, it's uh, everything's uh, everything's actually available possible. Uh, everything's possible on the uh, on the um, on the chart. Uh, zoom in volumes. We saw that earlier. Sort of volumes. Let's turn that grid lines off. You can see the volumes at the bottom there. Uh, you know, depending on the time frame, it will just show you what how many ticks have been on that particular bar. Uh, as um, as so so. So in this bar chart here, we actually go down to the bottom there. There's been 16 price changes in this minute, you know, and as you'll see sort of during the busier times, 
uh, as you'll, you'll get a lot more than that. But as the market sort of you know dies out, you know, in, in sort of in, even in session, those tick volumes, um, you know, will, will start to drift, redrift off as the uh, the volume is not there. Uh, how do you save the, te the te templates default? Right click, template, save template. You'll you'll get a save as option um, up here. Um, very very similar to to that, uh, and then you'll be able to to save the name as default. Yeah, like so. It's dot uh, default dot tpl. It will automatically save as, dot, uh, as tpl, but that's tpl is a template extension for MT4. Big save, but yes, there you go. Now we'll have then we've got default now. That should actually bring up the um, the volumes as well as well yeah because we saved the volumes on there so uh, that's the that's the way to do that um just went through so we want to zoom in zoom out save us picture um save us uh, save us picture he's quite quite self-explanatory that if you save you click that you can actually save your your chart as a picture it was saved as a a jpeg um and you can use that to, you know, whatever you want to do it, upload it places, or you know, you know, use it your own sort of a, a, a analysis. Um, print preview, give you a print preview of the chart. You know, if you were to print your charts out, so maybe you're doing some some sort of paper analysis, uh, whatever you, whatever you're looking at, that's straight forward, forward there. Uh, and then yeah, print and properties of the chart. That's, what we've been on there as well so uh, we've gone through with the colors you do have this common property as well where you can actually uh, change a lot of stuff you can actually change the bar to the bar chart you can actually turn it to an offline chart when offline chart basically what will stop ticking away it'll just it'll just keep it offline as what it is so it won't be adding any more sort of new data chart in the foreground that brings the the chart so your actual candles here will be brought in front of your drawings rather than being behind your drawings chart shift and chart sort of scroll over the are these two buttons up here um you can actually have an arse line as well uh we'll actually show you the uh the arse line um do note though that so you've got, you've got to be on a small sort of a uh, a smaller time frame for that to to, to work there yeah because uh, one thing with mt4 it's chart this is the bid price it's always the uh um these are the bid price candles that that's what the, the candles are bought based on the bid data so not on the arse data okay so when you're getting highs and lows it's based on the bid so you know if you are uh, if you are if you've gone short you know you will be going short against these prices but your actual ask will be based on these ask prices here that you see in the market watch and which could be slightly different to your uh, to uh, what your uh, to what the, uh, the the these these prices are showing here, so do notice. But you can, if you're in a smaller time frame, you know you can put the, the arse chart, the line on, and it will show you the uh, um, you know the arse line there. Okay, but if, if you go to sort of larger ones, you see you'll see it fade out, start to fade out because it just comes a little bit too tight. Oh, it's just showing on there. Oh, we did have it there, didn't we? As I made it a bit smaller, no one. You you'll see it disappear because it's just you know the, the, the spread's just 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 too tight. Um, one thing uh, when we spoke about earlier was uh, having sort of the cascading is, you know, it's each time you're going to have to sort of um, um, so let's get that up. What was it? DAX, wasn't it? Uh, chart window there. Yeah, so we've got our uh, weekly, well, Let's check. Let's go sort of 30 minute, four hour, daily, weekly, and we got them all next to each other like so. Um, also, another thing I've put up there's one click trading as well. There's another option for one click trading as well. Right click, one click trading. We can actually save that as a uh, save that as the default template. Save template. We're going to save that as the default again. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's just do that again. Make sure we've got that right. Chart window. Yeah. Chart window. Chart window. Chart. We've got four charts up there. Um, daily, weekly, 
30 minute hourly for all chart all trading the way there we've got the one click trading out there we can actually just buy and sell straight away by just clicking these up here as you can see orders going through um you know if we want to close out orders we can just press the x down here but a nice simple way to sort of um you know jumping in in, in and out of the market now you, you're possibly more likely you're going to be looking at more than just the germany 30 so in terms of sort of scrolling over and things like that you do have the option down here to um you do have the option that let me just remove some of these because i've got quite a few remove some of these profiles uh, let's get rid of all of them so we're on a fresh explain to you what they are yeah so instead of it's each time now if i want to move to uk 100 it's me dragging it over each time i can actually save this as a profile so let me save this as germany 30. okay and now i have a german this is the germany 30 profile right um if i go back if i want to save another one, I always go back to default um and then we can bring uk 100 over uk 100 over uk 100 over uk 100 over uh all the same uh oh, which says that then we want that make sure that's 30 hour daily uh weekly yeah save profile as uh uk 100 yeah so now i can just quickly flick between the two now without having to you know go through things like that so that's why that's a good thing to use these are your chart profile you can just build i think you get about 10 down there you know and they don't have to be all the same market as well like i've done that i'm just using that as an, an as an example that will save you know your chart profiles there, so you can just flick between you know, different sort of chart books as well um also is a, a data window uh, sometimes a bit hard to see if, down here in the bottom right hand corner you can actually see um the data for each candle as i move my my, my mouse across each each sort of a each sort of candle that sort of appears down in the bottom right now sometimes a bit hard to see so you can actually view you can actually open up a data window here as well and whatever I scroll and it's, it's come up in its top left here whatever I scroll across here it's uh, it's giving me uh, the data as well okay of that of that particular candle if, have, if i've got indicators on there as well it will give me the indicator reading of what the moving average is your, your macd's whatever you have on there the latest rsi print or the rsi print of that particular candle i can have that appearing in the uh, in the top left hand corner of the, in, in the data window um moving on we've still got uh, a few more to cover in a, a short space of time so uh, let's uh, may just overrun by about 10 minutes i say but uh that's be fine uh trade ticket now you can get trade ticket in loads of places like i said double clicking um or clicking new order up here all the same um trading you get new order here from f9 uh, there or just pressing f9 on your on your keyboard as well just make sure you are when you are trading and you do bring up a ticket always look at this symbol here just to make sure it's the right one you can move between the different markets there as well just make sure you are trading on that you know the right sort of market you know volume stop loss take profit you know comment all self-explanatory there just you know make sure your volume is in line with how the volume steps you know if you don't know how the volume steps is basically you know does it go up in 0.01s does it go up in 0.1s most likely it's going to be 0.1 and your minimum is going to be 0.1 as well uh, even when you stop loss as well make sure that's the right step as well if you haven't sort of put in second decimal places in and things like that you know it, there's a good on sort of the indices you know in you know it's a good chance it might not work but obviously on the fx where it's up to five decimal places you know it will work so if you are getting errors most likely to do because you stop loss or you take profits just doesn't fit in with you know the the, the 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 right sort of decimal place types of trades you've got market execution that's going to go straight to the market you've got your pending orders um uh which will just you know like we like we done earlier when we're using the uh the ladder or we're using the you know the right click sort of trading buy limits that it puts in uh, orders um one thing uh, a lot of people may not know is sort of the partial closes so if i was to buy dax now 
I'm long there. I've just gone long one pound, uh, one 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 contract there. You can actually partial close. Uh, just go up there, Ch change the market execution, and then you can if you click on the yellow here, you'll get a partial close of the uh, of a particular trade. So as you can see, I just partially closed half of that fifty, half of that contract there. And right now I'm down to uh, 0.5. So you are able to partially close this. It's market execution only, though, with the partial closes on MT4. Um, so do bear in mind, but you are able to sort of close out parts of the trade rather than just closing out the whole thing. Um, you know, you can actually sort of lock in a bit of profit. So, you know, if you are watching at, at, at certain certain levels. Um, terminal window is at the bottom. This is the terminal window here. Um, this sometimes this terminal window does disappear, and you know people will call in and say, "I'm not sure where it's gone." Just Control T hides and closes it. Otherwise, up here you've got View. You can see the terminal here, just like so. Sometimes it's it does sort of scroll to the bottom like this. Uh, could be a little bit difficult. Just you know, play around with your mouse you and get that, so you can you are able to sort of resize uh, resize the. Uh, um resize the uh, the window there okay uh yep yeah, it's uh, basically if you have loads of orders into in there it's going to uh stop um stop 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 building up in your terminal window um so we just put a few buy limits in yeah you'll see it we'll just stick a few sell limits up here they start building up here and you'll see them down there you know they're just they're just pending orders here at the moment. You can see what type of they're pending because they'll say limit, yeah. And if they were an actual live order, you'd see the word buy or sell, right? These will buy or sell limits. These are then so they'll start building up in the uh, in there along with your trades. Uh, easy to sort of do. Um, easy to sort of close. Um, and close those and actually close sort of live trades. So someone just asked, is there a uh, guaranteed stop loss facility? There is not on MT4, but there is on our Trader Pro platform. We do have a guarantee, and there are actually free guaranteed stops as well for uh, your retail clients. So if some of you are interested in, do take a look at our uh, our, our, our Trader Pro platform. You can you know quickly move through all these here. They're all quite a self-explanatory. Um, account history is a good one actually. Is a uh, if you right click, some it'll you, show you the sort of latest month. You can actually change that to sort of all history. Yeah. Uh, if you go right click as well and save as report um, and just save it, yeah, you'll actually get a a uh, a statement loaded um, like so. Yeah, you can actually import export that to Excel. Just open up Excel as a HTML table, so. You know, you can see all your previous trades, keep track of things quite easily for, for, your, for your history. It uh, will open up as like a HTML document first, but, uh, you know, it's all, all pretty, um, you know, if you are, if you know how to use sort of tables and CSVs and stuff, it's easy just to sort of just close that file down and just reopen up in Excel, which, which um, you know, which, which can see HTML files um, pretty easy. Um, Alerts here, this is where your alerts are going to go. This is a huge part of your MT4 alert. So if we just stick a few alerts in now. Um, you know, we can do a right click, we can go to trading here, stick an alert in there. Basically, we're saying, you know, if the bid, if the bid gets lower than 12450, I want to be alerted. Um, if you double click on the alert, you can have <clears throat> tons of different ways of being sort of or, or the conditions you can change. You can, you know, if, if bids lower than this, if it's higher than this, if it equals, if the time equals this particular time, you know, um, you can change the source as well. Or, you know, what, how do you want to be notified? Do you want to sound? Do you want a file to be opened or executed? An executable file? Do you want a mail sent to you? Do you want a notification on your phone? You know, these are all available to you uh, through the MT4. Um, Time out as well is how you know how many times you want to receive it after how many how long you know things like that. Uh, you can test it you know to see if it works. Setting up your phone and an email to it it just requires you to go up to tools and options, um, click notifications, and then on your phone when you do have MT4 you'll have a uh, MetaQuotes ID on your phone, 
on your app and you can just stick it in there and then you can actually communicate between your <clears throat> between your um uh, between your desktop and your, and your phone, uh, setting up your email, putting in your SMTP stuff and things like that will uh, <coughs> allow um, MetaTrader to 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 send to send an email using your your email provider. Um, so that's all that's all on there as well. That's that's really the options. And sandy tool to have have the uh, have your alerts on there and just continue staying on top of um, top of your alerts uh and you know just to just to make you aware of what's uh you know what's going on because you can't really keep on tab tabs or everything you know especially doing quite a lot of tech technical uh technical analysis um you know you just you know you want to sort of key breakout zones and you know things like that just you know getting your alerts in there just so that you know okay this has happened um philip aaron there's a downloadable app yes yeah, on your on on Android and on iPhone, there is a downloadable app. It's just MT4. It's provided by Meta Meta Quotes. They've created it, so you can uh, log into your platform through your Android or your iPhone. They're the only two they uh, they actually support. So, uh, like most most uh, major apps, uh, Navigator. We we briefly touched on Navigator earlier. This is where your accounts are going to go. When you get in sort of expert advisors, custom ones and custom scripts and things like that, that's what's gonna that's what's gonna go over to um that's where that's where they're gonna be. Um, when you're sort of inserting when when you do if you do buy these custom indicators or these custom scripts or, or you know, whatever they are, you, you put them in the data folder here. Open a data folder and then you'll have um sort of uh, folders for indicators, scripts, and you just copy and paste the, the file in there and it will automatically update or just press right click and then you can uh, refresh. <clears throat> um, but like the uh, uh, one thing that uh, people always ask is the uh, the periods, are they set to just those? If you want the live charts, they're, they're set to just then. Um, say we wanted a, a three minute Germany. Let's make sure I've already created one. Um, don't seem to be any Germany 30. There's a minute one, minute five there. Yeah. Say if I wanted a uh, a three minute chart, three minute DAX here. Okay. What I do is I go to I use the period converter. I'd go to a minute one chart because you need to multiply the chart to what you where you want it. So if I want a minute three, I'd have to oh, I'd have to multiply a minute or minute one by three. I can Put the period converter over, uh, change the multiple yeah, three, press OK, and that will start the process of converting a minute one to an offline minute three. So then I can go to file, uh, open offline, Germany 30. Sometimes it does take a few minutes. There it is, there it's created for me there. Okay, and I can just double click that and that give me an offline minute three chart. Yeah, so as a uh, lot of people see um people like to have different sort of charts so i could have a i could have a two day chart i could uh, take the two to put put the period converter on the on the daily chart put the multiply by two and that will give you a a buy a uh, you know buy daily chart so each candle is 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 two days so no option there if you want to uh use one of the custom sort of uh scripts um you know that there's a uh, you know there's 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 a feature to do that and you know there's you can just the actual uh, meta editor environment you now it does actually allow you to um you know do a strategy testing yeah so you can actually you know go through looking at the current mt4 data you know looking at um putting in sort of strategies properties things like that run through strategies back in time it is uh, you know, it's a, a very advanced sort of platform, and you know, you can actually sort of uh, um, <clears throat> open up the Meta, meta language uh, convert uh, editor as well, which is, you know, a huge um, sort of programming uh, environment as well. Uh, this one is just something I, 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 was, I was messing about with earlier, uh, just to make a, a simple um, screenshot. Take a screenshot of the uh, of the uh, of the chart. Uh, once it's applied to the chart, so there's a sort of code. This is very quite simple code. Um, <clears throat> all these sort of resources are available online. There's huge books, all provided by MQL. Um, so from MetaQuotes explaining sort of, you know, all different sort of features. You can have sort of, 
you know that's how people make uh, sort of automated trading programs because you know they use it that you know you can have um a code to fire in orders amend orders exit orders all based on what's happening with the charts or you know whatever sort of a uh, criteria or um no specification you want to put in but uh you know, quite simply with that one there if i was to um uh, where was it screenshot here uh say we were to do a um let's do uh i don't know a bit of text here just to show it uh we can put screenshot um 24 here you got screenshot if i was to put the uh the screenshot one over like so uh and then go to file <coughs> open data file um mql4 <coughs> filed uh and then yeah we get the uh get a screenshot like an automated sort of screenshot there that's just saved uh you know that's just sort of a part of you know sort of automation and you know, this is endless really what you can do with that but you know it does take a uh a knowledge of programming and understanding that and anyone who does programming can <clears throat> understand how quite tedious it can be just you know moving from one part of it to the other and you know looking at the sort of the uh different sort of triggers and things like that that um you know <clears throat> that go in um you know programming on uh on, on mt4 um i think now I think now we're actually coming towards the end of the uh, the hour, the slot. That's uh, a lot of sort of platform hacks for you on MT4. I know it sounds quite a lot because rabbit because there's just so much to go through on MT4, and um, it's it's um it's quite a lot different than sort of the other sort of MT4 <coughs> run throughs. It probably won't go in as much detail as that uh, myself. But I hope there's a you know a few bits and bobs that you learn on there. You know, I will get a, a recording out to you, but here's a good time for any questions if you have them. Uh, make sure you get them written to me because if I can't answer them, I'll um, I'll uh, I can answer the question. I can get the questions out uh, for you. Is there a handout for this? But well, I, I didn't really do any uh, handouts, but there is a video recording. Uh, we will be doing a part two. Yeah, I think so. I, I'll get a bit of feedback. What bits were a little bit. You know, maybe it takes take a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit more analysis and see if I can cover those a little bit more. But a recording, I think, will be your handout, Philip. So you can just re rewatch it uh, in your own time, uh, make notes, and you know, compare it to your own sort of trading platform. But Nicholas, can you recommend an OCO add-in? All I can say is that you, uh, uh, all your organizations are going through MQL4 is where you'll have all those custom indicators. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the question OCO has been brought up a ton of times uh, and that, that feature has been uh, created. So <clears throat> best bets looking on there and seeing what kind of feedback those um, particular OCOs have been given. Um, Pranetta for CFD companies, how do you get the old chart? We we tend to roll over the charts. The um, would we tend to put continuous data on there? So would 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 include the old contract on the new contract? So sort of chart continuation. If you can't see it, let us know. We'll uh, we know we'll try and update the old stuff onto the new stuff. There's not a way to sort of roll it over yourself with MT4. It's it's reading directly from our uh, from our servers. Um, uh, cheers, thank you, John. Good stuff. Yeah, definitely get the recording now. Robert, do you have a booklet describing all the features of the MT4? It's one on the uh, MetaQuotes website. If you're in Google, just put MetaQuotes or Meta, yeah, MQL4, and you will get the most advanced uh descriptions of um let me see if i can just bring it up now actually let's google it
um, meta meta quote mt4 sure yeah something like that this is, these are the guys who make mt4 um, so and on there you will it will go through absolutely everything on there every single feature um, you can think of everything to do with the program it's all on there you can spend hours going through stuff like that uh, do you know we were mt4 not mt5 um, so you can you can uh, It's all on there and it'll go through everything and it's um <clears throat> it's through the trading platform not through the web trader uh, if you want to do sort of web trading you use, use a web browser then you can <clears throat> go to etx capital ETH, you, you can get through our, 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 our web browser. We've got a web browser that you can uh, you can use. Let me, uh, I'll bring up my uh, my demo. Log in. Uh, just bear me a second while I just load up my uh, Trader Pro demo. This is the Trader Pro demo. This is our um a web-based platform so you know there's, there's i've done another video with trader pro hacks so it actually does a walkthrough of all this so this is another platform that's available to you and if you want we've got a brand new sort of app coming out as well soon and you know just as powerful as the mt4 but it's just all, all done through the uh the web browser so if you want to want to have a take a look you can have multiple accounts you can have an mt4 and a trader pro they're separate balances so you'd have to you know transfer from one to the other or fund the other one but yeah, just as this is all through the browser, so just as powerful, just as easy to use. Tight spreads as well on the on the on this web browser one. So definitely some of you, if you wanna, if you're interested in taking a look at that. Uh, Robert, can you increase it or refresh the devil cat man? Just drop us an email with your number and we'll refresh that for you. Um, but I think we're all at the end now. Uh, emailing. Um, you just drop us an email if you want to transfer one from the other with the, with the account numbers okay uh, any sort of further details now uh, guys then there's my email address should be able to see my email address up there Yep. There you go. Michael.baker, etscapital.com. I can help you with absolutely anything when it comes to the platform, okay? Uh, I'll make sure I get these recorded at you guys. Thank you so much for coming, and I will see you at the, the next show. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye-bye.